Hello. Oh, hello. Am I speaking with Francis Arnold? You are. Oh, hi. Hi. I'm Adam Smith from NobelPrize.org. Congratulations on the award of the Nobel Prize. Thank you. You sound very calm and collected in the middle of the night in Texas. <laughs> uh, I'm not the least. I'm bouncing off the walls, but I'm trying to pretend to sound calm and collected. I, I imagine you're away from home, so perhaps somewhat prote protected from the immediate onslaught that's going to happen today. Well, I'm annoyed because I can't reach my son. They're sound asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I'm protected, but I'm also annoyed. <laughs> they never answer the phone when mom calls you. Know? <laughs> well, not in the middle of the night, at least, surely. <laughs> um, you started as a mechanical engineer, and now I suppose you're a protein engineer. Do you think that is part of the secret of your success, that you came from a different field into biology and were able to see things differently? I think there's no doubt about that. I, I was able to look at the problem with a totally fresh set of eyes, a problem that had challenged people since the techniques were of, of site-directed mutagenesis, for example, which won the Nobel Prize, were, were available. And I realized that, um, that the way that most people were going about protein engineering was doomed to failure. Mm. It's a bold move, though, to jump field so radically. Oh, well, <laughs> I, I have four brothers, and I've jumped into all sorts of things uh, over my life. So learning new things has always been fun for me. Changing fields has been fun, and I still feel that way many years later. Mm. Would it be fair to say that what you do is to sort of manipulate nature's inventiveness for our human benefit? What I, I think of what I do is copying nature's design process, right? Here, here, all this tremendous beauty and complexity of the biological world all comes about through this one simple, beautiful design algorithm. And what I do is use that algorithm to build new biological things. And it, to me, it's not, it's obvious, it's totally obvious that this is the way it should be done. Can you give me a, a, an example of one of your favorite things that you've been able to evolve? Well, I, what I work on now is, I, someone asked me, what's the funnest thing or what's the best thing that you, you've ever done? It's always what I'm doing now. <laughs> so <laughs> what I'm doing now is looking at this question of how do you evolve innovation? How does innovation happen? How do you get a whole new chemical reactivity that you don't know already exists in nature? How can I evolve a whole new species in, in, in essence, a mm. whole new species of enzyme? Mm. And so, for example, making a carbon-silicon bond. Humans thought only they could do it, but we evolved an enzyme that does it better than humans do. And I, I su absolutely, and I suppose nature's doing this all the time. That it's coming up with new enzymes itself. Of course, she is. Nature is solving all sorts of problems that we throw at her: how to degrade plastic bottles, how to degrade pesticides and herbicides and antibiotics. She creates new enzymes in response to that all the time, in real time. Mm. And I suppose that should allay the fears of people who say that humans shouldn't be tinkering with nature. Well, nature's tinkering with itself, so it's not so different, really, is it? Well, we've been tinkering with nature for tens of thousands of years. Look at a poodle. <laughs> <laughs> so it, we've created all sorts of organisms and biological things that wouldn't be here were, were it not for us. Mm, it's true. And poodles haven't done much damage to us so far. <laughs> That's right. And, and they solve all sorts of problems. Look at, look at the, bio, the agricultural revolution and, and food. Look at, look at our, our farm animals. Look at our pets. These are human creations. Mm. Humanity needs science to get over the hurdles ahead. That is really true. We need science and we need the smartest minds to work on these problems. 
you are already um, a member of all three National Academies of Sciences in the US. You have multiple awards. And what do you think the Nobel Prize will mean to you? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, I don't know yet. I haven't had it very long. <laughs> <laughs> Let me rephrase the, the question. What does it mean to you at this moment? At this moment, I'm absolutely thrilled, and I can't wait to get home and tell my son. Really couldn't be a better answer. Fant fantastic. Well, we very much look forward to seeing you in Stockholm in December, and thank you very much for talking to me. Thank you, Adam. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.